Wow. Hello guys, welcome back. Happy Chinese New Year. Xinian Kwai Le. Lincoln, say. Xinian Kwai Le. Xinian Kwai Wow, good job, Baba. Welcome to the Guizhou countryside. We're just on a nice, healthy Chinese New Year hike here. Lincoln's on my back there. Lincoln, is it comfy there? Yeah. Weighing me down. Lincoln's like, Lincoln's 13 kilogram, plus the bag is two kilogram. Oh, it's an extra, extra 15 kilogram. Lincoln, I hope you're enjoying this like luxury uh, tour of the uh, Guizhou jungle. Anyway, the truth is finally coming out about China. You know, you guys know me for years. I've made videos about China, just showing you my everyday life here, showing you what it's actually like live on the ground here. I've been to many provinces across China, almost every single province actually, and showing you what it's actually like. With my own two eyes, I came here and saw China for myself. You know, because there's a lot of Westerners back in the UK, America, Australia, and they just take in all the negative news that Western media churns out, you know, just to push their narrative. And uh, most people believe it um, until they actually come to China and see the truth, see China with their own two eyes and see it for themselves. You know, I've been accused by the BBC, the Times, Financial Times, that I was paid by Chinese government, that I've, I'm lying about China. You know, when at the end of the day, I'm just, just showing my everyday life, just showing the truth here. Just, just showing you as it is. I'm just pointing the camera in one direction. That's it really. Um, and so now China has opened up. Um, there's been a lot of tourists from America, UK, who can now travel visa free for six days, as long as they show a uh, onward ticket to a third country. And then also there's another 15 day visa free uh, travel for Germany, Malaysia, France, Italy, uh, and another country, I can't remember. Um, and so, you know, a lot of foreigners who had never been to China before and have been taking in all this negative press and lies about China from Western media are coming to China for the first time and seeing China with their own eyes. Um, and basically, you know, they're seeing what I've been saying for years. <laughs> and so the truth is finally getting out. So it's really uh, good what China's done with this visa-free travel. Um, and so the, the, the world is seeing China for what it actually is. Wow, just look at this lovely, uh, fresh, sunny hike. Breathing in the fresh air of Guizhou. <sighs> Breathing that fresh air. Anyway, so it's really nice just to see um, more channels uh, telling the truth about China and showing you uh, what it's really like. Um, there was a German guy uh, he's called Ken Abroad uh, and he came and uh, you know it's the same they've been influenced by German media and hearing all these lies about China and then he came himself and he's made a few videos you know just uh, saying like he can't believe the lies that Western media has been telling there's another channel uh, an Australian uh, woman Josie lifts things the same with her they're just like shocked by the lies that they've been told for years. Wow, look at this. Bamboo, wow, look at the bamboo. Yeah. Wow, Panda likes to eat this. Wow, yeah. Panda eats the bamboo. Yeah. Woo. Panda, where did you go? And um, they were just like shocked by what they're seeing here in China is completely nothing like they've heard on the Western media back in their home countries. Uh, there was another channel, there was two Canadians, 
uh, jet lag warriors. You've probably seen some of their videos because uh, they're going viral on social media. Um, and then there was also a British couple. Um, I think they're called Sun Kiss Travelers or something like that. You know, it's just, there's a lot of new vloggers who've now got a chance to come to China and show you what it's actually like. Oh man, look at the, uh, you can see the mountains there, the Guizhou Mountains. There's mountains everywhere here in uh, Guizhou. Perfect for hiking. Megan. <laughs> oh wow, this is a proper proper hike when the path is like the path is very <laughs> very treacherous. <laughs> I don't think many people have taken this <laughs> I don't think many people have taken this trail for a while. Oh this is the real uh, the real proper hike. Megan, how do you feel? Lincoln just having a nice rest at the back there. <laughs> man, it's all uphill. Oh, oh man. Uh, Lincoln, can we swap? <laughs> can I get in? Ooh. You can uh, see the city down below there through the trees. Man, we're coming up so high. The altitude of the city down there is 1,500 meters. So we're already pretty high. So I'm guessing now we're at like 1,700 meters. And actually compared to the UK, Ben Nevis, the tallest mountain in the UK is 1,500 meters. Huh, interesting. Yoisa. It's getting really intense now. It's been, uh, it's been, it's been like what? One hour, 40 minutes. so peaceful that Lincoln has fell asleep. <laughs> wow, look at this. We must have reached the the peak Whoa. now. Whoa, look, Lincoln. Wow, just look at the, uh, the mountains popping up in between the like the villages and towns. The oh my God. When does, Ella. when does this hike end? I think this must be, this must be the top. Ah. Oh, wow. We did it, Linimba. Oh. 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 We did it. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. You're not gonna believe this. Two hours have passed. It's almost 5 p.m. I don't know what time we set off. Oh my God, that was insane. <laughs> Lincoln's been asleep for like two hours. Lincoln's gone. Where's Lincoln gone? <laughs> Just joking. We woke up about 10 minutes ago. Lincoln's had a nice sleep. Man, that was intense. I had like, that was like four hours, 15 kg on his, on my back. Man, whew, we've made it. We finally made it to uh, civilization. Ni hao. Ni hao, ni hao. Whoa. Whoa. 
<laughs> oh, he's taking the pictures of. <laughs> we've, we've done such an impress, impressive feat. Oh. 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 Oh, what a tian. Oh. oh man, we're back. We're back to civilization. The road's there. Oh man, we didn't even bring any water. Oh, anyway, that is the end of this video. We're gonna find the nearest shop. I'm just gonna drink like 10 gallons of water and I'll see you in the next one. I'm signing off. I'm gonna sleep for like nine days. Oh, sign off. Sign off. Whew. What a chin. Man, that was insane. I mean, you can look where we came. <laughs> look where we came. We came from up there. <laughs> what the hell? Now we're, in, now we're in some village. We're not even in the city anymore. <laughs>